Yes, come here. Have a letter. Thank you, Ashley. A.B., if you travel 10 miles northwest, you'll find the body of a young chubby fella. Let's make this fun. If you make a 55-degree turn to the left and travel 20 miles southwest, you can find my location. Oh, and I'm 65 degrees to the left of your first path. I know you're at the police station right now. Good luck. Okay, I need you to head 20 miles northwest, get there as fast as you can. Sir, 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 stay with me. Hi, this is Detective Coates. I'm calling the reporter homicide. I need you to send dispatch immediately. Thank you. Come on, sir. Okay, so we have to find the distance between the police station and from the suspect. So we can use the law of signs to find the side. So we try the triangle here. A, this is the station. Okay, we have B and C. This can be the location of the murder. And then the killer. Okay, so he told us the distance about where he was. So this was approximately 55 degrees north. This is 65 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, let's see the states in the letter. So you add all of these up. That means, okay, that's 180. That's good because that makes a perfect triangle. Okay, now in order to find the distance, we can use this equation. So we can put that up here over sine A, which equals B, sine B equals C, sine C. Okay, he told us that the station and the location was approximately 10 miles apart. The location from the killer was approximately 20 miles apart. Okay, so we're looking for B. Okay, what can we do here? Okay, our next step. Okay, so here we do sine 60 which equals 10 over sine 55. So here you multiply, no, you take sine 60. Make sure those are in parentheses. Okay, so you have B over sine 60 equals 10 over sine 55. You're gonna do sine 60 times 10 divided by sine 55, which will give us approximately 3.04, which means our killer is approximately 3.04 miles. Done. Let's go get them.